the S&P 500 was up 1.4% for the first five days of trading last week, invoking the first five day rule, as goes the first five days, so goes the year. Since 1950, the S&P 500 has logged net gains during the first five days of the year, a total of 47 times. Of those 47 instances, the index ended up the year up 39 of them. That's an 83% success rate. Moreover, the average S&P gain was 14.3% in those years. The big winner last quarter and so far this year have been the international markets. That 70% of non-US equity markets outperformed the US in dollar terms. And so far in 2023, non-US continues to lead the way. Like developed international markets like Europe up 8% year to date and emerging markets up a whopping 9% in just three weeks. One more plus for the bulls is investment sentiment. It continues to be extremely negative. And as a result, there is a mountain of money stashed in money market funds right now. Money market funds, also known as cash, reached an all time high this week with a total record amount of $4.8 trillion, surpassing the 2020 COVID-19 peak of just under 4.8 trillion. This is contrarian bullish and I get it. Money market funds are yielding close to 4% while they paid virtually nothing over the past 10 years. I can only imagine where that stash of cash will go when rates start declining. My guess, it will head right into everything we already own. And I don't know about you, but I'm always willing to sell at a much higher price.